Welcome back to Telltale. In this video I'm continuing my series about Judith Merrill with her second published story titled Death is the Penalty. Now, this was published again in Astounding Stories following the success of That Only a Mother. This was published in Astounding in January 1949. <clears throat> the story, you have a future world that's kind of kind of a dictatorship, although not a lot of details about the world are given. This is, a, this is a short story. There's not a lot of time to develop too much background. But there is a war going on, and we're dealing with a country that is, has scientists developing um, new weapons that will give them an edge in the war. And so, of course, the Everything the scientists do is top secret, cannot be revealed to anybody. So they, they really don't even want the scientists to be talking to one another because they, one of them might inadvertently give details about, some, about something top secret to another scientist who then may, you know, that scientist may not be trustworthy and may provide those secrets to the enemy. So they don't want the scientists to be socializing. But two scientists we're dealing with in this story, a man and a woman, they can't find love among ordinary people. The only time they can really connect with somebody is when the two of them meet and they're both scientists. And so they start meeting in secret in a garden, which is forbidden. I'm not going to give too many details from there. The story has a pretty nice twist ending. Not a huge twist, not terribly unexpected, but a little different from what you might expect. Um, because it's such a short story, you don't get a huge amount of character development or world building, uh, which you really don't need to get the point of the story, but it would kind of be nice to have a few more details about what's going on. And uh, overall, it's a, to a very well-written story. Very readable, enjoyable, but I think it falls short of being a top tale. So I would recommend this to anybody who is interested in older science fiction, likes short stories, wants to read in particular earlier science fiction by women. Um, and so with that, I hope you'll I hope you enjoy this review. I hope you'll go out and give that story a try. You can find it in free PDFs of the January 1949 Astounding Science Fiction. If you search the internet, you'll come across that. It is also available in a book. I forget the exact title. I've ordered it, but I haven't received it yet from Nesfa Press, which I really love Nesfa Press. They do some excellent books collecting some of these somewhat lesser-known science fiction writers of the past and major science fiction writers of the past but it was fiction is not exactly in print except at Nesva Press and you can get a hold of these and and uh, so you can get there's actually a couple of Judith Merrill volumes from Nesva Press and I, I have both of them um, being shipped to me as we speak as I speak so I hope I hope you'll Investigate Judith Merrill further. She's definitely a strong writer. She's definitely enjoyable. Um, worth reading more of her work and, and worth digging deeper into. And like us and subscribe to us. Come on back for more. I'm going to continue. I'm going to dig, dig out everything I can by Judith Merrill and do videos on all of it. So read along with me if you wish. The third work of hers was actually a novel called Shadow on the Hearth. It's a post-apocalypse novel. And I'm, I've never read it, but I'm guessing it's going to be really, really good. And I'm looking forward to it. I've, I've been looking forward to it since I, start, since I decided to start this Judith Merrill exploration. And I have little, little hope that I can get Emily to join me on this, um, on reading Shadow on the Hearth. 
because I, I kind of think she might enjoy it too if it's as good as I expect it to be so come on back I'll be bringing you a lot more Judith Merrill and other uh, others um, other science fiction authors other fantasy authors other horror authors other authors period I am trying to dig into some non-genre work to report on but I haven't got any of it completed to to do videos of yet so keep coming back and I hope you'll join me for the next one